We're at the Uffizi Gallery for the presentation of the reorganization of the Caravaggio and 17th century painting rooms. The newly arranged rooms feature works by the illustrious early Baroque painter Michelangelo Marisi, better known as Caravaggio, alongside works by other great 17th century masters, including Artemisa Gentileschi, Diego Velasquez, Rembrandt, and Rubens. The rooms are vested with a lively red color intended as a reference to the hue that was so often chosen for fabrics and walls in paintings of the day. You might be surprised to hear that the rooms were painted with only natural pigments that were also used in the 1600s. Rather than numbers, the rooms were given more evocative names, between reality and magic, Caravaggio and Artemisa, Caravaggio the Medusa, Caravaggio Bacchus, by candlelight, Rembrandt and Rubens, Galileo and the Medici, and Florentine epics. Each room features a mix of works by Florentine greats and other artists from both the rest of Italy and abroad, recovering, as director of the Uffizi Gallery's Eike Schmidt says, the international spirit of the era, open to suggestions coming from every country. We spoke with Schmidt about the impact these new rooms will have on the museum's exhibition route. Well, uh, this new installation of uh, eight galleries with uh, 50 great masterpieces by Caravaggio and his followers, not just in Italy, but in fact, uh, uh, these rooms, uh, in fact, uh, document uh, the huge impact that Caravaggio had on all of Europe, and therefore they're ending uh, with uh, Rembrandt and Rubens. Um, uh, this new installation uh, starts with the works of art, uh, not with some abstract uh, criterion of catalogization, but it starts really with the visual impact of every single uh, work of art, which are put together in dialogues, in tension uh, uh, also, in order to inspire uh, thoughts and in order to inspire the visitors to look, to stop, uh, compare, uh, remember. Um, this is really fundamental in order to recreate uh, the museum as a space of experience and of learning. Uh, so what we're not uh, doing is to put the uh, paintings according to uh, some abstract system so that people can use it to, to be examined of what they've learned before, but they can actually be here and just by looking, learn so much about our past. And that another advantage of this is that uh, it doesn't matter whether you're uh, a child or a student or a professor uh, or a nurse or a car mechanic or whatever. Um, these uh, works of art are so rich and uh, we really give them the space to breathe uh, so everyone uh, really will be able to take away something from this.